welcome to our check-in. I'm away from my coworkers, so I'm gonna take off my mask so that you can see me and hear me a little bit better for our check-in today. Welcome, my name is Kelsey. I'm a children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, and this week we're gonna be checking in about leaves. Last week we were talking about the seasonal changes that occur in plants and animals, and it got me thinking and wondering why the leaves change color in fall. So I am gonna talk a little bit about that later on, and we'll also be doing a, an experiment called leaf chromatography, which is where we take the pigment out of different uh, colors of leaves and we spread them out, separate them, and it makes like a striped pattern where you can see the different colors in the leaves. So let's see how that goes. So for our chromatography, we're gonna be comparing three different leaves. The first one that we have here is this nice pretty burgundy Japanese maple. And then I've got some yellow and green and brown ginkgo leaves. And then I have a red, like a bright red and yellow and green dogwood leaf. So what we'll do is we will separate those pigments and see uh, which ones are in each leaf and talk a little bit about what they do. In order to do the chromatography, you need some coffee filters, just like this. You probably have these in your house and some rubbing alcohol. And so I cut my coffee filters into little strips like this. And then to get the pigment from my leaf onto the coffee filter, you have to sort of smush your leaf up with your hand like this, rip it with your fingernails just slightly, and then rub it on the bottom of your coffee filter to get the pigment out. So. So I've got my pigment onto the bottom of my coffee filter, and then I have this jar um, that I will just place my coffee filter in just so the bottom of the coffee filter touches the bottom of the jar, and then I can fold it over the side and tape it to the bottom just to hold it in place, like that, and then I will add my rubbing alcohol. And so the idea is that the rubbing alcohol, as it moves up the coffee filter, it will draw the pigments out and the pigments will layer um, so that we can see the different ones that are in there. Okay, so you can see that our ginkgo leaves, we have some green and yellow striping on our chromatography. Same with our maple leaves. We have green, yellow, pink, and then red at the top. And then for our dogwood, we have some faint green at the bottom, some yellow in the middle, and then some more red up here at the top. So on our chromatography, we saw that the leaves separated and the first color at the bottom was always green and then in the middle there was yellow and then at the top there was red. We also saw that the ginkgo tree didn't have any red pigment in it. So let's talk a little bit about what those pigments do. So in the summertime, the trees are absorbing sunlight and doing photosynthesis and they use the green pigment called chlorophyll to do photosynthesis. In the fall, the tree starts to absorb that chlorophyll back into the tree to store and save for next year. And the yellow pigment, or xanthophyll, is left. Xanthophyll is in the leaf all summer long, and the job of the xanthophyll is to grab the sunlight and bring it to the green pigment chlorophyll so that the leaf can do photosynthesis for the tree. Now, some trees in, uh, in the late fall um, can absorb just a little extra sugar by producing a red pigment called anthocyanin. And that anthocyanin just allows the tree to get a little extra sugar stored in the tree so that it can have that in the winter time. So when trees change color in the winter, 
it's because they're trying to store that energy back in the trunk and the roots so that they can start all over again next year. Thank you so much for watching our check-in. I hope you guys try some uh, leaf chromatography and I hope you guys check in on Friday morning for story time with Miss Tarnesia. She'll be reading a story called Leaf Man by Lewis Elhurt. Thanks so much. Have a good week.